I'm Luba Merlachuk. I'm walking through the Canadian National Exhibition Grounds on a brisk but sunny October morning. Just to the south of me, you can see the Stanley Barracks. During Canada's first national internment operations, this site was a receiving station for enemy aliens from December of 1914 to October of 1916. It was a place where Ukrainians and other Europeans were held until they could be sent to other camps across the country. As all of that happened under the terms of the War Measures Act, the very same act that would be used again in the Second World War against our fellow Japanese, German, Italian, and Jewish Canadians, and again against some Quebecois in 1970. So the same War Measures Act that was first promulgated in the First World War in August of 1914, and it allowed for enemy aliens to be scooped up across the country and put in internment camps, was used time and time again. Today, cars, people, joggers, people visiting the exhibition buildings, back then, an internment camp, a receiving station for enemy aliens, a site where men were rounded up and held behind Canadian barbed wire, not because of any wrong they had done, but only because of who they were, where they came from. Pretty ironic when you think about it. Today, I'm standing here at Stanley Barracks, outside a wire fence. 100 years ago, men like me would have been standing on the other side behind a Canadian barbed wire fence. In that same building in 2008, the Honorable Jason Kenney, Andrew Hladyshevsky representing the Ukrainian-Canadian Foundation of Taras Shevchenko, Paul Grod, the President of the Ukrainian-Canadian Congress, and I, as a representative of the Ukrainian-Canadian Civil Liberties Association, signed an accord with the Government of Canada providing funding for the establishment of the Canadian First World War Internment Recognition Fund a body that has, since that date, funded various commemorative and educational projects right across Canada, recalling this episode in our national history. There's more to be done. There's more educational work to be done, more research to be done, and of course, efforts like this one that inform Canadians visually about the places that they pass by daily and think little of uh, because they just don't know what happened here.